Hey everyone, Steve here again from RC Tanks and Trucks 24-7 and this is just going to be a quick video to show you how to parallel charge your little batteries like I have here, these are just basic one cell 3.7 volt uh, LiPo batteries here generally, you know, for the small drones and whatnot and if you charge them one by one, you'll be there for quite a while parallel charging, you can charge multiple batteries like these six here at once so let's go check it out so the main benefit of parallel charging is you can charge all your lipos at uh, the same time now the parallel charging will only work with the same you know cell count of battery so you can't have a, a two cell and a three cell and a one cell when you're parallel charging they all need to be two two cell one cell or three cell for example Okay guys, another benefit of parallel charging as well is that you don't have to have the same milliamp or capacity for each battery when you're charging, just as long as the cell is the same. So for example, I've got a 250 milliamp here and a 200 milliamp here one cell battery. All I need to do is put 0.4 or 0.5 amp hour charge and that'll be fine. Now, uh, same goes if you had a 3000 milliamp hour two cell and a 5000 milliamp hour two cell you'd put in a 8 amp charge and at two cells pretty cool stuff and uh, yeah that works as well now to parallel charge you obviously need a special type of connector you can buy this one here ready made like I have which is got the plug on one end and six or however many battery connections on the other end uh, you desire this one here was only cheap on the internet, about you know five or six bucks, along with you know six of these small 250 milliamp hour batteries for like eight dollars. So it's a bargain. But like I said, this basic general rule works for any style of battery. Could be a 5,000 milliamp two cell, could be a 3,000 milliamp or 9,000 milliamp um, three cell battery. Same general rule of thumb. You make sure that when you're parallel charging, they are the same cell count. That is very important, and that they are discharged at the same rate. You can't have one having being 3.7 volts, and then this one being 4.2 volts, and parallel charging, something's going to end up going wrong, and one's going to puff up, the one with a smaller amount won't, but the one that's already fully charged will. So just keep that in mind. Anyway, so, obviously, once you have this connector, it's simple. This one here... This is like a, a dual purpose. You can use a USB style charger or you can use this one here, which I can plug into your normal charger that you use for all your other batteries, which is very handy. Now, this pack here is great. You can get it from, I think I purchased this one from Hobby King. It saves so much time. And uh, here we go. So I need this one here. Plug them all up. Now, that's that. Now a little bit of the math behind parallel charging. Now the maths to figure out how much of a milliamp you need to charge and the amount of cells, obviously it's pretty easy. You don't need to be a mathematician or a rocket scientist. So I have, for example, I have six of these batteries, but this adapter can only hold five. So five times 250 milliamp hour gives me 1.25 or 1250 to get the point you just 1250 divided by a thousand gives me 1.2 amp charge rate so to make it easy as well if you have two 5000 milliamp hour batteries that'll be 10,000 or 10 amp so that's it it's pretty pretty easy i can't stress enough make sure that they are the right amount of cells each battery so you can't have one you can't have two cell and a one cell or three cell they all have to be the same cell rating. So as you can see here, I have all the batteries hooked up. Make sure they are the correct polarity. Otherwise, stuff can happen pretty quickly and uh, things can turn nasty. So I have five batteries here hooked up. One, two, three, four, five. Now I need to go to... I want to go to a basic LiPo charge. Now it's going to be, LiPo charge, yep, 1.2 amp, 
1.3 or 1.2. I'll just keep it a little bit under on the save side. 1.2, yep, and it is 3.7 volts or one cell. There we go, it goes through the normal process, and here we have it. So, it's going to be charging all these batteries, 1.2 amps, flowing through all of these at once, and it will charge them all together. Okay guys, just to wrap it up, obviously the most important thing about parallel charging, the um, batteries have to have the same cell count. And they also, they also need to be at the similar state of discharge. So one can't be... One battery can't be at 3.83 volts and then another one can't be at 4.2 fully charged. They all have to be, you know, similar. Like I said in the beginning of the video, no more than, you know, 0.1 volt maximum difference between cells, you know. But that's that's my opinion. Everyone has their own, but that's the safe side of things. And you don't with batteries, you don't want to you don't want to mess around too much, especially with lipo batteries. Okay? Generally, I charge my batteries in a lipo bag and in on a concrete floor or in the garage, something like that away. But for video purposes, I'm just doing doing it here for you guys. So there you go, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Any questions, please leave them, like always, down in the comment section below. Subscribe to the video if you liked it. Share it if you like. And please uh, yeah, give it a thumbs up, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks, guys. Cheers.